Hi, I'm Molotov Mitchell, president of Illuminati Pictures. You may or may not know who we are, but we've produced videos about Barack Obama that have reached tens of millions of Americans this year. We introduced the public to black liberation theology and liberation theology before anybody knew just how scary both of them were. We also interviewed Jill Stanek, star congressional witness, and exposed how Barack Obama actually supported infanticide as a senator in Illinois. As an independent motion picture company, we've taken it upon ourselves to expose the corrupt things in Barack Obama's past, things that the mainstream media has been all too willing to conceal. Now, personally, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat either. I'm a registered independent. I am not into conspiracy theories. I don't wear tinfoil hats. With that being said, with all the videos that we've produced, I have to tell you, this is the big one. Please, pay close attention and give us your full consideration as I present the October Surprise. Obama is not producing these documents, and if he's not producing it, it means he's a total fraud, he's a phony, and really he should be arrested and tried and deported. This is Independence Hall here in Philadelphia, where the Declaration of Independence and U.S. Constitution were created. I am doing this case with one purpose, to make sure that our United States Constitution, the most important document in our country, is followed, whereas Barack Obama is trying to destroy it. I am Philip J. Berg. I'm an attorney, former Deputy Attorney General of Pennsylvania, I've been a lifelong Democrat, 31 years as a committee person. I was chairman of the Democratic Party in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, a member of Democratic State Committee for eight years, a candidate on the Democratic ticket throughout Pennsylvania for the Office of Governor and United States Senate. I've been practicing law for 37 years. I'm licensed to practice throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, including the Supreme Court, and also the federal court system, which is the Eastern District of Pennsylvania, the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, and license the practice before the United States Supreme Court. The most important document we have in this country is the United States Constitution. The United States Constitution provides a provision for a candidate running for president, that the person must be 35 years of age, live in this country for 14 years, and also be a natural born citizen. Barack Obama is not a natural born citizen and therefore not qualified to be a candidate or to be elected president of the United States. As a lifelong Democrat, I'm really dismayed that Obama will not produce records to prove me wrong. On the Obama campaign website, the certification of live birth has also been placed on factcheck.org, which supposedly checks out documents to make sure they're correct. They say it's a true and correct document, but it's very funny because the document, if you look at them, there are two different documents that were posted. I'm not even sure if they're there right now because on fact check they had a seal on the document that was posted on Obama's website. They didn't have a seal. But factcheck.org is owned by Annenberg of Chicago. Annenberg of Chicago is in organization that Obama sat on the board for for a number of years, dispersing up to $60 million a year. So there's a little conflict of interest there, I believe. I believe Obama cannot produce a birth certificate because the birth certificate that he would produce would indicate that he's not a natural-born citizen of the United States. His paternal grandmother, who still lives in Kenya, is going around telling everyone that my grandson is to become President of the United States and she's so proud because she was in the delivery room in Kenya with Barack Obama's brother and sister, I guess half-brother and half-sister, when he was born in 1961. His half-sister Maya was interviewed and she stated that he was born at one hospital in Hawaii. When Obama was interviewed, he said he was born in the other hospital in Hawaii. You know, when I, I represent criminals at times. You know, when you tell the truth, everything's the same. When you lie, you're all over the board. And I think those statements indicate that he really was not born here in the United States. Our further investigation has discovered 
it really doesn't matter if he was born in Hawaii or not. Because if he was born here as a natural born citizen, he lost his citizenship. How can you lose your United States citizenship? Well, what happened is Obama's mother divorced the father. After that, she remarried. She remarried Lolo Sotoro from Indonesia. They got married here in the United States. In his book, Obama states, my stepfather went back to Indonesia before I did, and when I got there, I went immediately to school there, and he spent four years in school. Significant at that time was Indonesia was at war. The only people who could go to school in Indonesia were people that were citizens of Indonesia. So therefore, his stepfather had to do one of two things to get him in school. He either had to adopt him, or he had to acknowledge him. If he did either one, that's how he went to school. Now, we have records. It's on my website. Uh, we have the school record indicating his name is Barry Sotoro, his nationality is Indonesia, and his religion is Islam. That's how he went to school there. Indonesia at that time did not provide for dual citizenship, so he was now a citizen of Indonesia. The only thing he could have done at that time when he came back, he could have gone through immigration to come back to the United States. We don't believe he did that. If he did do that, then he would be a naturalized citizen at that point, not natural born anymore, even if he was natural born in the first instance. Therefore, a naturalized citizen is not natural born, cannot run, cannot be president of the United States. Not only is Obama trying to dismiss this case under legal technicalities, which are proper, but also it's an outrage that the Democratic National Committee has joined in with Obama in these motions. Why is it an outrage? Because the Democratic National Committee has a different role. I believe they have a role to all Democrats in this country and all citizens of this country to make sure that they put forth qualified candidates. And when this lawsuit was filed, if they didn't know about it before, they knew about it when they were served, and I feel they had an obligation to go to Obama and say, produce credentials to us. And if you can't produce them to us, they should have taken their next step, and that is remove them from the ballot, and they could substitute a, a candidate for president. So to join together with Obama to hide from the public facts which should be presented is a disgrace. On the flip side, we have John McCain, who's running for president. And when someone questioned where he was born, because he was born in Panama, uh, his parents were both United States citizens, his, his father was in the military, but what did he do? He immediately released his birth certificate, he immediately released his medical record. He said, whatever you want, I'll, I'll give it to you, and he did right away. On the other hand, you have Obama, who has refused to release any record, and in my federal court case, he's hiding behind legalism, which, although proper, it's a disgrace because I think the people in the United States deserve to know, you know, where you were born, where you're a citizen from, and what's going on, why you're hiding your background. It's actually a disgrace to all the voters, all the citizens of our country, but more important to the over 18 million people that have voted for Obama and to the people in this country that contributed more than $425 million to Obama. That's the bigger disgrace, and Obama owes them a huge explanation. Obama can ignore this only so long. There's a motion to dismiss before the court. If the court grants the Obama and DNC motion and states that I don't have standing to bring this action, um, I'm stopped but only short-lived because I would appeal that to either the Third Circuit or the U.S. Supreme Court, depending on the timing. Um, as far as the production of documents, right now he's asking for a hold on that until the judge decides the motion to dismiss. The judge does not have to decide a motion to dismiss until the case goes actually to trial, but can order discovery. So we're following our reply, and again, we'll have to wait for the judge to make a decision. Obama's only hurting himself at this time, if I'm wrong, because 20, 30, 40 million people are talking about this right now, which could cause him to lose the election. But I don't think he is hurting himself because I think he's a fraud, and he doesn't have these documents to produce. Obama has also refused release his medical records, his records from college, Occidental College, Columbia University, and Harvard Law School. Uh, this is significant because uh, these documents might say where he's really a citizen from. Many of us would release this information to uh, future employers, and uh, we as the citizens are going to employ Obama or McCain as President of the United States. We have to look back only to 2004 and the year 2000 during the presidential election 
which raised so many questions among voters in this country. Did the vote really count? What was going on? The case ended up in the uh, Supreme Court of the United States. Are we headed that way again? My question to Barack Obama is this. If you're a natural born citizen, what are you hiding?